Hey guys, it's Taz from Latte Library and welcome back to my channel. This video is very long overdue. It will be the September and October wrap up. I realized I hadn't filmed one and feel silly for it because I read some really good things during those months. Hopefully it's a really quick video. I don't know if you can tell by just looking at me, I'm not well mentally, physically. Things aren't going my way right now. So send through positive vibes, please. And let's get straight into this. I am so lucky that Goodreads exists because I would not be able to keep up with anything if I didn't have it. So the first book that I read in September was Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. I first saw this book at an airport and I thought the cover was so cute and lovely and so I got the audiobook for it and I jumped right in. It is a contemporary and I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. It just I don't know. It just really works for me. I thought it was cute and I think because I haven't read a book with the same sort of storyline, I actually could really enjoy it for that reason. So I gave it four stars and it's just, it's so cute. It has purple cover and it's just... <laughs> and the audiobook was really good too. The second book I read was Date Night by Samantha Hayes. This is a thriller and I don't know, I kind of went through a phase where I just wanted to read thrillers all the time. They were complicated but not like epic fantasy complicated and it was just very they're just they're really good at messing with your head and then when you read your twist you're like oh my god like it's just duh. Date Night was really good and was one of those mess with my head a little bit but it was really good. Uh, I rated that four stars and if you haven't read it I totally recommend it. I think thrillers are the best way to have a break from fantasies. Not sure why, not sure how, but they work for me so well. So I'd recommend that. With some of these books, I will go in more depth on my reviews. Some I won't because they were just good. I don't know, but there's some like, ones that I really loved. And this is one of them. Verity by Colleen Hoover. Verity was the first book of Colleen's that I've read and it was messed up. I listened to the audiobook and I recommend that if you want to read this book, listen to the audiobook because it is so good and so messed up all at the same time. I finished reading Verity on the 9th of September and holy freak, I still think about it to this day. It is just insane. Oh, I just wanna like, no, I'm not gonna give spoilers. I'm not gonna give spoilers on this book, but I totally recommend it. It is remarkable and incredible and I rated it five stars and it is deep, it is dark, it is twisted, so be prepared for that, but it is, it was brilliant. And from then on, I kind of go on this Colleen Hoover roller coaster because I just have to keep reading more of her work. So then I moved on to Too Late, which was really good too. Which, I don't know, I guess I was a little bit surprised that it was so good because, you know, you have like one book that's really good and sometimes you have like an off book, but this was not the off book. I listened to the audiobook, I read it at five stars. It's very, I can't want to say different because I haven't read anything like it, but there's like, it's like the whole like undercover cop with drugs and some of it is very trigger warning for like rape, sexual assault, sexual abuse, just abuse in general but I think like that's not that's not why I liked it but it definitely added to the story so much and Colleen just seems to go into the, like the right amount of detail to just make your tummy churn a little bit so if you're after that kind of read check out Too Late and Verity because whoo messed me up good okay so during this time I think I was working on contemporary a -thon, and I did read a bit I didn't complete all the challenges but I tried and one of the books was The Unhoneymooners. It was okay. I thought it was pretty average, it just wasn't for me. I rated it three stars. The next book I had on my contemporary thon list was I, I Owe You One by Sophie Kinsella. For some reason I just like it sounded like a book that I'd like and for the most part I did. I listened to the audiobook. It did take me a little while to get into and I don't know some of it I just couldn't relate to but I think it's because like the way the main character and her family live their life compared to how I live my life which is very different and I couldn't relate so I found it really hard to connect in that way. The concept itself was really weird. I feel like the twist and then what comes after was a little bit not off pudding but just not great. Could have been done better but I rated it 3.5 stars even though my good read says 4 stars but I know I didn't rate it 4 stars. That's the thing with Goodreads. I wish they had like half stars because those halves really count. Ooh. So then I read Capturing the Devil, which took it a while to get to. I do have a review for this up on my YouTube channel if you want to click on that because that probably has well, my full review on it. I rated that four stars. A little, a little disappointing, but it was fine. I still love Audrey Rose and Thomas. 
how could you know? Okay, and then like from there, oh, then I only read like one more book <laughs> and that is Confess by Colleen Hoover. Surprise, surprise. I really love Colleen's storytelling. She's very, very good. And the audiobooks definitely do it justice. Like, they really do. I thoroughly enjoyed Confess. Again, it was just really different and it's just not what you've like, like just nothing like I read before. So I listened to it on audiobook. I rated it four stars. The concept itself was good. The end twist was good too. But like, did that, that, oh. I don't know how to explain it, but the twist was relevant, but it was so far-fetched from the actual storyline, but it made sense in the same way. So I'm not sure if I liked it or not. If you read it, let me know. And yeah. And then apparently that was just the last book I read for September, October. Ultimately, I had a pretty average couple of reading months. Yeah, so that's eight books over two months, which is pretty, you know what? No, actually that's pretty average for me. I read about four to six books a month, I think. I don't know, I've lost count, but it's funny because <laughs> in November, which I'll do a wrap up in a couple of weeks, like the first three books I've read are Colleen Hoover. So get used to seeing Colleen Hoover around because I will be talking about her quite a bit because I really enjoy her and I cannot recommend her enough if you're after something really different. So out of the books that I did read for those two months, my favorite was definitely Verity just because it left its mark on me. It was so savage and dark and twisted and it's the book I didn't know I needed to read. It is so messed up, like so messed up, but I loved it. Let me know your favorite read of the last couple of months. I know it, this is a late video and I apologize, but there's no time like the present. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. See ya.